Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to continue with radioactivity. We have already said that radioactivity is the spontaneous disintegration of an system whereby they lose particles. And we were studying the particles which are emitted due to radioactivity. And uh, we have seen alpha particles. And I wanted us in this session to look at beta particles. We are going to study beta particles. Beta particles. When a nuclide disintegrates by the release of beta particles, we usually say it's just an electron which has been released. An electron which has been released. So when the particles, okay, when the particles released during a beta radiation are studied, they are discovered to be just electrons. Therefore, when the properties of beta particles are studied further, we find that uh, they are lighter. The electrons released are lighter of a, a smaller mass. We have a small mass. When we compare them to alpha particles, we can also say, due to the small mass, they have a high speed. They have a high speed, and due to the high speed, they have a high penetration power. They have a high penetration power. High penetration power. Relatively higher compared to alpha particles because uh, the beta particles can be stopped. Can be stopped by a thick aluminium. Aluminium sheets can stop beta particles. Unlike alpha particles, which have very low penetration power and can even be stopped by a sheet of paper. By a sheet of paper. We say that beta particles can be they can be deflected. They can be deflected by magnetic the magnetic and electric fields by magnetic and electric fields since they are negative since they are negatively they are negatively charged since they are negatively charged again even though there is a deflection even though there is a deflection we shall say that uh, the deflection is greater. Eh? They have they have a greater deflection. They have a greater deflection than that of than that of particles. Since alpha particles are heavy, they cannot be easily deflected from their path. Of movement whenever they are passed through some given fields. So it is very important to notice that uh, when a nuclide loses an electron or loses beta particles, when a beta particle is released, when a beta particle is released, the mass number is not affected but the atomic number increases by one the atomic number increases by one unit remember we are losing a negative an electron is represented like this therefore the mass number will not be affected because this is a zero, but because this one is negative one, then losing a negative one is just like adding one. And therefore we say if we got a daughter nuclide here, or the parent nuclide with mass number x and atomic number y, then it loses a beta particle, which is an electron, then it will become a new nuclide, which we call a daughter nuclide and 
the mass number will remain the same with the atomic number increasing by one. Then the, the lost beta particle. Lost beta particle will be here. So that is how beta particles are released from a disintegrating nucleus of an atom. So thank you very much for following. In the next class, I'll be showing you how gamma radiations are lost. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Brains and share the link.